you have landed on a no site no problem youtube channel in today's video i'm going to show you how to change an exo bearing on a 2009 yamaha drive electric golf cart so for those of you who don't know i'll walk you through this a little bit this is your hub and i want to kind of show you you can see the hub is bad as well if you see all that play going back and forth from left to right I don't know if you can catch that in video, but see this part of the axle here is not moving. But the hub is, and you can also see this play like that. So what we have to do here, just to give you a heads up, we're going to take this pin out because it's easier. And then there's a snap ring right back there that I'm going to remove. And I'm going to put my slide hammer puller in here. And we'll pull out the whole axle and bearing as one assembly. We will do undo this nut here take this hub off then I will take the axle and go to the press press off the old bearing and press on the new bearing and we'll reinstall everything come on baby come on there there we go you know I was thinking being a mechanic and things we shouldn't say anymore I wonder, are we not supposed to see dikes anymore? I mean, since I was a kid, that's what we've called these as dikes. And for those politically correct people... Which you are not. I don't know if, if we're supposed to say that anymore. I, I'm not, I don't know. Well, I'm just going to keep calling them dikes. Whatever. Or would it be like a transgender pin removal tool? No, no, no. I'm just wondering. I probably have to get a different pair because this hub is going to be... Well, I might get lucky. Let me get lucky. Oh my gosh, it's my lucky day. Woohoo! So we'll take this slide hammer puller. And put it right here. Can we say shaft anymore? Because there's slides on the shaft. I just want to... Just like that, gentlemen. That came out pretty easy for you today. Yeah. So, as you can see, this is the wheel bearing here. So, like I said earlier, we just have to take this hub off here. And this C-clip will come off. And then we'll press this bad boy out. Alright, so, we'll take this nut off of here. And yes, we know it's not an impact socket, but I don't care. Just like that. A socket was that? I wasn't looking. Well, let me see it. And I can let them know what it was. I was just being honest. I wasn't uh -huh. looking. It is a 24 millimeter. And that holds on the hub nut. You know, that's something else we can't, mechanics probably shouldn't say anymore is nuts. I'm just thinking of all kinds of... Oh my of, gosh, look at that rust. Uh-huh. Yes, ma'am. So there's the snap ring for the bearing or and then there's the washer you can see the splines in there are all chewed up and wow. just make sure again here yeah that's got a lot of play okay so get off and then this piece here slide off like that let's go get some pv blaster i'm going to clean the shaft up a little bit and then all we have left to do at this point is press this bearing off of here you gonna explain what you're doing or are you too busy uh pressing the shaft out of the bearing <laughs> wait we're not supposed to say shaft There it is, baby. With a big boom. Just like that. There we go. Look at that, folks. And that is in. Okay. Put a brake clean. 
There you go. All right, so I got the new bearing is all pressed on as you guys saw. I like it. Let's put her in. When I kind of rotate the axle back and forth so it locks in the splines and it is she is in all the way you shouldn't have to really force anything hi diesel that's my buddy all right so we'll put the spacer goes. diesel's making a guest appearance okay we'll put the c-clip back on what's up buddy Hey, there's an ass behind your ass. Yeah, well. <laughs> no, don't be saying that. I love diesel. Just want to make sure that that's out of the way. Just like so. Go. Okay, C clip is back in. Everything turns nice and free. Put this spacer on. Just like set. And then as you saw earlier, the wheel hub, I have to replace. So unfortunately, you're not gonna see that part of the video because I gotta order parts. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I really enjoy making them. And um, until then, or shall I say until next time, we will freaking see you later.